Hi guys, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and today I wanted to show you one of the cool functions within Teams. If you don't want to have your camera on or use a photo as your image on a Teams call, you can create your own avatar and use that in the session instead. Now to do that, we head to the apps option and you're going to search for this one here. If you just type in avatars and it will show up and then you can download that one. It is an approved app as part of Teams. And there's an avatar builder now. I'm going to show you mine and then we'll jump into a call I've got so you can see what's going on. So we've got uh, an avatar builder and you can set this up with lots of different features and functions. So we can um, customize them to update them. So uh, you see I can, I've got one here that I've made. She's got long blonde hair. She's wearing a jacket. Uh, no glasses so it doesn't look anything like me you can have up to three but you can choose your different body shapes uh, and skin tones you can make a lot of changes to the face really quite detailed ones I mean there's three pages of noses uh, you can also play around with them and create sort of a customizable nose as well uh, then we've got hair so again you can choose the style and then uh, the color up here as well you can filter that to look at all sorts of different lengths. We've got facial hair and your eyebrows as well. And then the appearance. So we've got things like lip color because I'm female. I can do lip color and blush and eyeshadow because I might choose to wear makeup. Um, lash line, face lines. So if you want to be realistic and show that you might have had a rough a rough night, you can make it look as though there are some lines under your eyes. And then there's a bindi option as well. And then wardrobe, there are some presets here with uh, tunics and button-ups. It is only a waist-up view because it just sits on the camera, on the, the screen as, a, as that. So that is my avatar and you can play around with that. You can make changes over and over. We'll exit that. So that's my avatar. Once they're created, you can use them anytime you like. So when you jump into a call, uh, on I'm just I've got one open but when you jump into a call I'm going to leave that one and we'll jump into a new call so if we go meet now and I go start meeting it's going to start over here so if I have my camera turned off there's this option for effects and avatars and I can choose to pop my avatar in Will take a minute and I can choose if I've got a few you can choose the different ones you can set a background we go join now and I'm going to get rid of all of that and there I am so as I'm speaking and the microphone's picking that up the voice will open and close the reactions if I was to say thumbs up I'm actually going to do it in the in the uh, footage as well and the same with the love heart so you can use this in a little bit. Uh, so it brings those 2D emojis to life. And then when we are here up at the top in the more and there's video effects and settings and there are some options here for your avatar as well. So you can make your avatar do some different reactions as well. You can make them wave. Uh, loads of options here there's applauding or um, an ASL applaud so a sign language applaud which is our um, twinkle fingers so there's a few ASL options there's a chef's kiss you can pin some of these as well so that they would stay as your preferred options up the top which is also kind of neat but there's lots of stuff there's a golf clap which is always so it's another way for you if you're not confident in having your face on the screen in being able to do uh, something that's a likeness of you without worrying about using a photo or having to create some sort of image to put up. So give it a go, check it out. And if you'd like to jump on a call and see how it works, then let me know and we can maybe have a go inside our next Dynamo discussion.